You keep it. Keep it. Keep it. It's a good look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sit on my nose. <laughs> yeah, like I just your zits love your nose. Well, these guys were saying that the, maybe it's comedians and maybe comics. He always gets them around. I get them right, right here. Right there. It's just it, rare that today I It's can, ugly dudes. <laughs> yeah, like I, ugly yeah. dudes again. All right. I see how it starts. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, putting your, I'm putting myself in the same category. Yeah, but not a good category. <laughs> it's still... You said category. <laughs> category. <laughs> category. <laughs> category. It's a beautiful category. No, but, you know, it's... But, <laughs> you a fat guy, I'm a fat guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But, buongiorno. Yeah, buongiorno. <laughs> But the um, but you know because we're ugly, you know. We had, <laughs> Stop saying. That. <laughs> we had to develop other things. You know? Oh yeah, that's the only reason I'm funny. I was a yeah, fat yeah, kid. Yeah, yeah. Oh wait, I see yours. Uh, well, what are we doing here? <laughs> you have a zit on your nose. Uh, it's coming in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. man, this sucks, yeah, yeah, yeah. dude. <laughs> it's like an avocado. Be right by tomorrow. <laughs> well, I'm, look, can I say something? I've seen uglier whites. There you go. All right, thanks. Yeah, so yeah. that's a good thing. Should have saw him as a baby. Yikes! <laughs> oh really? <laughs> no, I was a cute. I was a cute till yeah. about six. I what happened? Cute. Chicken Ooh. fingers got in my life. <laughs> <laughs> it all went downhill from there, dude. Yellow like, number yeah. five. Yeah. yeah. Took over. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, and you you're... actually have very model esque features. Yeah, you do. What's model esque? Like model? Oh, okay. Like yeah, you're yeah. very, very symmetrical. Model trains, yeah, yeah. Maybe. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I like my trains. Uh, wait. Like, like the caboose? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dare I say, like the golden ratio. Wow. The golden yeah. ratio? Yeah. Can yeah. you pull it up, Gil? Yeah. Well, I mean, because I think you did this to yourself, no? Or is it genetics? What? I don't know. No, I'm disgusted. I'm, I, I theoretically should be attractive. I do yeah. see what you're saying, but yeah, I yeah. destroyed myself to the That's point. cool. That I like that. Thank you. Yeah, I like that a lot. Thank you. What's this? This the is the golden ratio, ratio of facial aesthetics. What does that mean? Huh. I swear to God, he has it. It's like how your eyes, oh, uh, the distance. Yeah. Yeah. Visually uh, balanced face. Yeah. yeah. Sweetie, sweetie. Yeah. Um, Kevin's here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> just, hey, don't forget about I mean, the when uggos. You, <laughs> you, you got to because you gotta give them something, you know what I mean? I got the golden pimples. <laughs> I got the golden nose. No, you're, you're very cute. Come on. Oh, let's, let's, stop let's, it. We're joking, you know? Wait, have right. you guys recovered from your onstage human centipede in Austin? Yeah. We were talking oh, about that last night, and I said, Bobby is the only person I would ever, that's so out believes. of character for me. No, yeah. you know what? Last night, it was it, that was you know really nice to hear. Yeah. That you, I would be the only person that... And you didn't believe me. And you were like, no, what about I, this person? I'm when like, I go, Bill no Burr, way, and you no go, you wouldn't... But it, Bill, no, that they won't do human centipede with you. Wait, so how did that go down? Who was the caboose? Who was the head? So what, I don't even know how that occurred, but... We were so, anyway, let's, 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 okay. Yeah. <laughs> that, 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 that wasn't not, in my rider. Let, right, let's go with the... Let's get, let's get start from the beginning. Okay. The beginning is... Okay. The beginning is uh, welcome to the podcast. Yay. You know, Bobby Lee. And then we got um, Are You Garbage Boys here. Thank but, you, you know, uh, Kevin Ryan, Kevin Ryan, mm -hmm. H. Foley. Thank you. And um, you guys have become people, one of my favorite people. And so Thank we were you. in Austin doing the live show. Mm -hmm. They were already in town. We needed help. They came by. And it was a great show. So much fun. He show. didn't need help. We weren't moving furniture. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but you guys, you guys made it. To be a part of it. Oh, you guys still made it special. So wow. fun. So, so fun. fun. You guys so made it fun. And so I guess one of the, um, we, you know, it's, a, it's a kind of a game show that we do live. And one of the um, <laughs> consequences of it was us doing... Yeah, but the thing I didn't understand, human the winner sentiment. had to do the human. The human. <laughs> the winner <laughs> had to do And those the guys got to all make out. I know, <laughs> I know but to me, it's a, um, a win when you do a human centipede. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know. Probably lost on purpose. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Smell um, what those undies are like. <laughs> so then when we were going to get into the human centipede formation, I could see the fear in your eyes a little bit. Fear, anger, rage. Yeah, they were all there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah, that's and, not his speed. Yeah, no. and I was the middle because I was being cool. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> I think you wanted to be the middle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You wanted to double cool, You though. squeezed yeah, yourself yeah. in there. Yeah. And then you were the caboose. I was the caboose. I think initially you thought that... Um, it was better to be the head of the centipede. You later found out that wasn't the case. No, no I was, his... ag I, was ag I was aggressively moved along the stage <laughs> for yeah. about 20 yards. I had, I was running away yeah. and didn't realize I was just pulling you in closer. Yeah, as yeah, I was yeah, yeah, yeah. You were really chomping on his I was, I was really chomping. Hey, you were yeah. in there. You're well, I mean, I'm Meisner. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? I'm, so I mean, I'm a messy guy. You know what I mean? So I, 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 I bite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why you were sniffing dog butt before the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting in the character. And so um, <laughs> you saw the... F and then when you started moving forward, because I could feel... I was running away. I, you were... You're crawling away. Crawling, crawling away. away. I was crawling away. And I was crawling with you. Yeah. <laughs> you were yeah. right there. You yeah, I was right there. <laughs> we went about 20 yards together. Yeah. That was a fun. He fully stood back. Yeah, yeah. you broke off the I centipede. Did a, my, my, my knee was bothering me. I couldn't <laughs> keep up with him. See, I thought it was a comedy choice he was doing. <laughs> no. Last night I complimented him. I go, dude, that was a good comedy choice. He goes, my knees don't work. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he wanted... I guess he wanted to yeah. come with us, but it broke down. Uh, I was trying to get in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were too fast for it. Yeah, I was too fast. <laughs> well, it was him. Yeah, I was yeah, really so. leading the charge on that one. <laughs> so, you don't, you, uh. so you don't like man-to-man um, -man contact? No, it's not that. I mean, I, I don't know if you can classify. Man-to-man -man contact is not a human set of beat in front of 2,000 guys. <laughs> That's, like that's a that's a that's a huge jump you made on I male to my male. father's hand. Yeah. <laughs> I'll hug my uncle if I have to, but that's yeah, yeah, way yeah. different. Yeah. Oh, I see. Uh, it was the crowd that, that that kind of petrified you, I guess. No, it was. I mean, that's cra yeah. To have another man's ass or another face. man's face in your ass mm. is you know that's one thing to do with your house for sure. But yeah. In front of everybody. Yeah. I don't know. It's just not my that's not, not my cup of tea. Not your thing. But I I love you so much and I love your comedy and it's so funny and zany that you were like let's do it. And I was like, yeah, you got to do it. You got yeah, to do it. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Let me ask you something. Um, if Hold us, on. Can I say this? That's ahead. such a great show. That's oh, such my a, God. All right. Thank you. Such, I'm being awesome. a, that's such a cool show. And you know you guys show. are the Simon and Garfunkel of com com comedy. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Simon and yeah. Garfunkel. Is that a compliment? <laughs> or? At the time, they were great. Are they both ugly? What's not, happening? No, that's not, <laughs> who's, who's Simon? Who's Garfunkel? Well, that's for them to decide. Wow. Okay. That's for them to decide. I can hit the falsetto. <laughs> Wait, you... um. Sing and play the guitar, right? Yeah. Wow. And he has and a you're a theater ratio? guy and a golden ratio. Holy yeah. shit! He's amazing. You got all of it. Yeah, I guess. So. Yeah. You you can sing that a little, a little bit. A cappella something. No, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna embarrass myself. Well, I'll do it. Okay. Go so I'll go. You know, let's go. Let's go. Eight of eight of vice. <coughs> I don't know. What, I'm right. out. I can't sing. Eight of vice. Eight of vice. Eight of vice. Every morning you greet me. Great. Wow. Pretty good. All right, H. Foley. H. Foley. Beautiful. He won't do it. <laughs> I'll do it. Uh, For you. Just that beginning Again. part. Yeah. Can you put your nose on my ass while I do it? <laughs> <laughs> Get the gang back. You don't together. have to do it. You don't have to do it. No, I'll lay it on you. Um, okay, go ahead. What would you do if I sang out of tune? Whoa. Hey, would you stand up and walk out on me? Whoa. Wow. Good, man. Lay out Kevin. your I can't ears <laughs> and I'll wow. sing a song. And I will try not to sing out of key. That's so Oh, good. Bobby, now. Ooh. That's so good. Okay. have yeah. so much Crap. talent. Only for you, Bobby. Yeah. And, and your pimple. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's still, uh, that's still there. Sorry. I have a name. Can we call him Raul? Yeah, Raul's great. Yeah, Raul's That's great. a great. Raul Castro. Why is it Mexican? Raul Castro. Cuban. Oh, Cuban. Okay. Uh, if you and I, if we went on a tour, oh the pimple, yeah the pimple, pimple. yeah. <laughs> I thought we were, I thought we were giving Foley a statement. <laughs> Let's cut the record, print it. I will move and take I, th it. I thought that was gonna be my Illuminati name. <laughs> Where did the Asian Harry Potter go? Oh, I think he's in the bathroom. Okay, Man, you got a crew running around. Yeah, yeah. Wild. So, um, if we were in a trip to Europe, okay. And you know the same thing happened to us, like it happened in um the Human Centipede, where we get knocked out, we wake up in a lab. And we're actually tied to each other, like sewn. Okay, that was we're centipeded. I think that's the premise. Two girls are on a a trip, okay, backpacking trip. Uh, they they run into a German, you know, crazy German. I, I don't Germans. know if it was German. Yeah. And oh. then you know they and then they I guess they knocked out a Japanese dude too. Okay. Yes. yes. Which was crazy in the movie. Did you see the Human Centipede? Uh. Uh. uh, -uh. Mm -mm. I saw a walrus. Does that count? I mean, I know the. I know. So, yeah, I, I know guys. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's Bobby in the middle. Yeah, but no, no. <laughs> but the front guy was. I wouldn't mind if Bobby looked like that. Wait, so they're they're not. <laughs> For being oh, honest. Oh, so if I was her, you would have scurried away like that? Yes. I would have I would have backed up into that. What are you talking about? Oh, you would have? You would have been twerking back there. And your knees yeah. would have worked. Yeah. Oh, they would have worked yeah, very yeah. well. <laughs> but check it out. The Japanese dude is in the front. That mm -hmm. sucks for right? her. Which sucks for the, the middle and the, the back's the worst. Yeah. Why? No, the middle's the, the worst. No, because yeah, the, oh, the back's you. not getting any pleasure? No, I'll tell you. I don't what, know how much pleasure's in there. Because that, I'll tell you why the back's the worst is because... 
he poos through her. Oh, right. And then she has to poo through her. Mm-hmm. So you're oh. getting two generations Double of poo. It. Oh, yeah. are they yeah. sewed together? Yeah. They're yeah. yeah. There? Oh. <laughs> What do you think? They're, they're just putting a. You could escape just a little cotton thing yeah. that was wrapped around. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, right. you, yeah, yeah. It's a nice house, though, they got. She's got a raw, she's give got a raw deal. Yeah, but yeah. I bet she has the strongest gut biome. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she can she's handle got, it. She's got a variety of like. It's like good super bag. kombucha. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> no probiotics for her, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but in the movie, he kills himself first. Really? I haven't seen it yet. You're never, you're never gonna see it, dude. You're never gonna see it. But he goes, because oh, 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 he's first guy. Well, that's a sacrificial killing then, because he wants the the shitting to stop. And you know what I mean? It's for the team. Oh, yeah, right. that makes sense. I don't. I, I mean, imagine having a dead Japanese dude attached. Yeah, oh, you don't great. think they cut oh. him off? I don't think they cut him. I don't know. I don't think they. Cut you watched the movie. How did I don't. That? I don't remember. I don't remember. Anyway, if that happened to us, what would happen? You think? I'd kill myself. Sure, right? I, I don't have... If I, that, if I had to go to jail, I would do... I, yeah, I wouldn't be able... I couldn't handle it. But let, if we survived it... Listen, I'm, gonna, I'm being honest. Yeah. We're not tough guys, me and Kevin, but if we, the three of us were in that situation, it wouldn't get to that point. What would it happen? We would either be murdered because we would be fighting back and get overpowered and killed, but we would not let it get to that point. Well, they get knocked out and then they... would like the Mark the Wahlberg of just human centipedes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not on my watch, <laughs> America. Let me about 9-11, all right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. But like I don't get it because you know we we're like we wake up and we're sewn. Yeah. So how do we fight back? We wouldn't have gotten drugged because he would never take a drink that was opened. So oh, he would he would he would have got us out. I see. You got to get up pretty He's early, early in the morning. We, we you and I though would. I'd have been fucked up. Yeah. 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 By Be the a way, small scent of it. This yeah. is the third movie. I didn't know there was a third. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy a whole, shit! A whole prison. <laughs> Dude, it looks like the cover of the New Yorker. <laughs> yeah. The last person on that shit. Dude. But as a writer, it's like that's what you're... prison food too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As a writer, they're like, you know, we we'll just do more. Yeah, just add them. Add, yeah, add, add, so add Human more. Centipede Nine, <laughs> you know what I mean? Which means this whole country. It's gonna be hands across America. <laughs> <laughs> it's not great writing, but anyway, um, let's move on from the, the, the. But thank you for doing the show. Of course, thank, thank you, you for having. having it. It was it was so much fun. It was so cool to see you guys. Your fans are amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so everything was. They were so charged up. You guys got introduced, and they went fucking nuts. And uh, thank you. I also wanted to say something I observed from you last night, and you weren't involved. Okay. Because I don't know you, what you were doing. What do you? Mean? I think you're. I know what you're alluding to. What? That I didn't take the tour with you when you walked listen, around. Listen, H. Listen, age. Get him, Bobby. No, I'm gonna listen, age. Okay, I don't give two. It's not yelling at this guy. <laughs> Uber, what the fuck are you kid doing, walked, dude? Kid walked in the perfect guys. Guy. Sorry to interrupt. This is our next segment. It's called "Are You Classy?" Ooh. Oh. Whoa, so what we lovely. Have, That's pretty good. Since That's you guys ask people, "Are you garbage?" We want to ask if you guys are classy. We have an assortment of items here, and we're gonna tell you the price, and you're gonna say, "Is it worth eating and paying for that?" Okay. All right. Okay. Good. Well, can we just ask? Can I finish? Guy? Yeah, let's finish the story first. Berating me? I'm like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck I was saying now. Hey, we, last the night, tour, the, the tour. Comedy, the tour. Um, store tour. I went with you on the tour. You don't oh, give out wait, tours. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, it's not that important, but fuck it. Let's fit. Thank you, Harry. <laughs> Asian Harry. Yeah, Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, EJ. Dun, 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 Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Kevin, this is how he knocks us out. Yeah, this is nuts. <laughs> if you don't think you just were like, what would happen if you got drugged at a, oh, man. At a weird house? I don't trust this guy yeah. as far as I can throw him. <laughs> All right, so just real quick, the thing I was going to talk about is that, w- w- listen, I, hate I don't you. give everyone tours. And for you to like not do it too I, I just, I just, okay. you guys walked away. No, you I were scaring and he he bumped into somebody. That yeah, we, yeah, of do. course. Fine. That's fine. But then you, I was telling you this ghost story. That was a store. setup, dude. That and was you a, got super scared. You open up a closet, a hallway that was unlike the rest of the building. Like proper, didn't belong there. <laughs> looked like it was built in the 1800s. Yeah, yeah, and he's yeah. like, he opens the door and goes, go down there. I'm like, fuck <laughs> that, dude. Yeah, yeah, see? You go down okay. there. Well, see what? Have you seen a ghost in there? Yeah. I want to show you paranormal stuff. No, All right. What the fuck is this? 
Okay. All right. Feel free Gil, to what are the rules? Okay, what are the... Just feel free just to, while you're talking, eating, and look at the prices of food. And... Well, if we're going to do the segment, let's just do it. Okay. okay. Yeah. Which, uh, so, I mean, why, why are you giving them the prices of the thing? Yeah, no, it's just deciding if you would pay that much money for the No, but well, how about we eat it first? And I thought that was the game. Oh, no. we can do that. We yeah, can do we. That. Well, here. So these are Macombo yeah. beans. What's, What's that? that? Oh, sure. Are we <laughs> oh, I don't like you to yeah, point out. Yeah. No, we will not... sit with that suit. <laughs> Dude, that's cr you look like you belong in the Munster family. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here? Yeah, yeah. What are these? I've never had them. Macombo beans, brain function and digestive support. This is almost $30, $27.98. Are we buying this? I'll never eat a Macombo bean again. <laughs> oh, then I'm out. You ate that bird. I'm out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it bad? It's no, it's actually bad. pretty good. It look, it's, it kinda, it, no, it's nutty. It's nutty, but it's like, I I mean, out of all the nuts, yeah, that's the worst nut I've had. <laughs> well, it's got 30% fiber, so you're going to shit your brains out, Bobby. There we go. Uh, that's anyway. the last thing I need. Okay, anyway. We'll, okay. Just, we'll just do it th through the show. Okay. Through the show. Yeah, 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 Let yeah, me know yeah, if you yeah, yeah. the price. No one's going to touch this. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, we should do the caviar, because... I would 100% try the caviar on the creme fraiche with the Let's, let's yes, do that I'm right now. Do that. Let's do that one... Let's do that now. That entire container is three two hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents. That get, container? Yes. Nice. So every we gotta bite, try. It. Every bite's about seventy five. That was in the fridge, right? It wasn't in the back of your car for the last. <laughs> time. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna, and this is creme fresh. Yeah. Yeah. So I do this. Can you gonna try one? Uh, I don't want to, but I'll do it again. This is a human. <laughs> and the little pancakes are what's supposed to go with it, correct? Yes, yeah. the bellinis. Yeah. yeah. Do a little creme fresh. That's yogurt, dude. <laughs> that one's yogurt. That's not fucking. Cheers, creme fresh. Strawberry banana. This one right here. Fresh. Is it yogurt? <laughs> yeah, but that's yogurt, dude. That is yogurt. Oh, fuck. Yeah, what the fuck, dude? EJ, why would you put the yogurt on the thing? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Put the creme fresh. Don't put the yogurt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, this one's... That's creme fresh. All right. Honestly, just do the caviar by itself. <laughs> it's no. amazing. I don't know if I've ever had caviar. Oh, you gotta have it by itself. Yeah. Look yeah. how tasty that is. I'm gonna put some... Here. Oh, I go hard on caviar. You good? Yeah, you guys yeah. are taking like $100 hits of caviar. Yeah. All right, here we go. Okay. First time having caviar. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Me too. What do you think? <clears throat> oh, it's good. Fishy? It's like, it's like whale, whale pussy. It's not bad, right? I never thought it would taste like that. That's so fucking good. That's good. Thank you. Really? Yeah. really? Wow. Seems like they're Man. classy. That's all right. Well, first, I mean, I'm 37. I should have had caviar. <laughs> I know. I don't know how classy that what? is. What? 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 I've had the orange ones on top of sushi. Roll. The yeah. roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's incredible. Wow. So what that else all works you, so well together? What else have you had? Um, I'm pretty good. Caviar was was up there. I, 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 let me ask: Have, you, have you guys had frog legs? Ooh, yes. good question. Uh, like I don't think so. No. Mm. Uh -uh. no I would try it. I, I I'm a picky eater. Yeah. I don't eat a lot of stuff, but I will try everything. Like for the most part, unless it's like you know the balut or whatever. But I will. Really, you wouldn't try balut? Uh uh. That's no. I actually don't think. I think you'd. Surprise yourself. It depends. It depends where it would have to be, but like it's fucking terrible. Yeah, that's what I mean. I only know it bad from him. <laughs> He's a, quite a picky eater. He's actually not as Asian as we would like him to be. Uh, oh my god, that's He's, so he so ate so a dead insane. baby duck. He's, He's too not much a Asian eater. Me. That's like entry. That's like entry level for Asians. But I actually think I mean even George liked it. Everyone else liked it, but him. I think you're watch, watch, watch. Hiya, hiya, hiya. That's pretty Asian. <laughs> hey, you're pretty Asian. <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> no, because yeah, Balut is a is a Filipino delicacy and an acquired taste. That is pretty hardcore for Yeah, but there's different levels, right? So you can have like mm. the older where it already has the feather feather <sighs> and the bones and the face and the beak. The or feather you, you when you taste feather and you crunch into <laughs> the beak mm -mm. and then mm -mm. and then the the skull, you bite into the skull and the eyeball pops into your throat. Imagine that, Dad. La 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 la, prize picks. La 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 la, prize picks. Prize picks is my favorite. What is prize picks, Bobby? You don't know? How do you not know? Prize picks is daily fantasy sports platform. That's what it is. Price Picks is the largest independently owned daily fantasy sports platform in, in North, North America. America. They are the easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. It's just you against the numbers. Price Picks is the most fun I've had winning up to 25 times my money this football season. <laughs> you just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stats, and place your entry. 
I've been testing my skills on Prize Picks, Bobby, this football season, yeah. and it's the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. I'm telling you, if you have the skills, you can turn your ten dollars, Bobby, what? To what? into two hundred fifty dollars with just a few tests. Hey, y'all! Do you guys have the skills? Test your skills and go there. And what, Prize Picks. Get what I ball. love the most about Prize Picks is quick withdrawals, easy gameplay, and an enormous selection of players and stat types are what makes Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. This week on Price Picks, I'm selecting Swaquan Barkley for more than 60 <laughs> yards and Patrick Mahomes for more than two passing touchdowns. What about Aaron Rodgers for more than three passing touchdowns uh, and Travis? Oh, he's injured. He's injured. But Travis Kelsey, Taylor Swift, that's a big <laughs> oh, thing. Oh, what you about, gotta go. you what gotta about go Odell Beckham Jr. for more than 50 yards and Josh Allen for more than two passing touchdowns? I think, I think those are pretty good picks. Price Picks offers weekly promotions that can lead to <laughs> big payouts, you guys, like Taco Tuesday. Each Tuesday, Price Picks discounts select player projections up to 25% to provide even more value. Go to prizepicks.com slash belly and use the code belly for your first deposit matchup to $100. That's prizepicks.com slash belly and use code belly for a first deposit matchup to $100. Prize Picks, daily fantasy sports made easy. Imagine that, Dad. Yeah. Mm. Delicious. I, I love it. Oh, that's fine. I, oh, look at that one. That looks like Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> Dino DNA. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hey, everybody. <laughs> Bobby Lee's about to eat me. And but my I think, eyeball's going to squirt to the I back of his throat. it's more just like the visual that's difficult. Yeah, but oh like no, for taste sure. alone, it's milder than you There think. we go. That's what we do. We change the visual of it. Yeah, they could put, put it on a, a cracker or something. I would eat it. If they could boil oh, yeah. the flavor <laughs> down. And we like, put one of those like potato roll or min, something minion in here. Go, minion goggles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> right, overalls, cute it up, dude. Yeah. It up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make it like a piece of candy or something. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, and, and that's so insulting. I'm very Asian. <laughs> you don't know how to cook rice. That's like Ooh. also another entry level. But the emperor probably didn't know how to do it back in the day. In the you don't have a rice days. cooker? At, probably. At the house. I do have one. And What's the rice ratio? Ratio? Oh, let's I, go I, with calories. Okay, What's I the do rice one ratio? cup of rice, mm -hmm. one cup of water. Do you rinse it? I feel like he feels very Asian right now. I rinse it three times. Do you really? Do I do do? I've never <laughs> seen you cook rice. I fuck. That's so insulting. I know how to do. It. I'll make rice right now, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make it right now, bitch. Give me the fucking scooper. Dude. What's the rice finger? Show me. What do you mean the rice fingers? When you don't have measurements, how do you know the water to rice ratio? I go cup cup. No 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 cups available. Just eyeball. How do you do it? With your hands. The yeah, rice. Dude, I'm not a caveman. <laughs> yeah. Also, where are you going to be cooking rice when you don't have a cup? <laughs> <laughs> Just in bare grills. I, 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 it's insane. What you're no, doing. it's a rice ratio. You, it yeah. has to be a certain. It's called the rice finger for a reason. That's yeah, how you I, measure I mean, the water. Do you know how to make meatloaf? That's it. Yeah, of course. Uh, oh, that's the technique. <laughs> you do. It's always the first digit. Do you guys oh, know how to make rice? Yeah. Uh, yeah. But you, but you Thank know, you. But you know that system? No, I have finger? a kitchen that I make it in. Exactly. <laughs> I don't, I, I, I'm not out in the wilderness guessing. I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Right? So yeah. that's insulting. <laughs> I'll make rice right now. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I know the finger ratio just from my girlfriend's family. She's My girlfriend's Filipino as well. Whoa. From Hawaii. So. Oh. oh, she's from Hawaii? Yeah. So did, have you had balut then? No. Okay. Not yet. You, But you would? I don't know if I would. Mm. To be honest with yeah, you, yeah. little baby duck. I mean, yeah. if I was starving, <laughs> well, there we go. I'd eat yeah, your yeah, fingers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. In a starving situation, <laughs> yes, these guys would eat it. Mm. Yes, okay. okay. Yeah, but if we end up going there to see her family, I, you know, probably would could. Yeah, yeah. Is is she the love of your life? Yeah. That's all. Bobby. Bobby's both been in to love. the Philippines and tell him how great it is over there. It's he so told us on the podcast. Fun. when yeah. he was on the podcast. Yeah, so and fun. we were all grossed out. <laughs> <laughs> what did he share? He shared a couple stories, and I said, "I'm never going." <laughs> <laughs> what I did? No. Yeah, it's a beautiful island. I hear. Of course, I, a series of islands. See, I, we're talking islands. about Balut, not the island. Oh yeah, Balut's. Yeah. Uh, let's, Wait, let's, you're married, right? I'm married. Yeah. Uh, love of your it, life. Love of my life. She's German. Met her with the accent. Yes, wow. it's more. She has like more of a European accent than like the ah, da da da. But like when she yeah, gets yeah. angry, it comes out. <laughs> uh, yeah, she doesn't sound like Ray Fiennes in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in the forties, same was, haircut. Though. In the forties, you think she would follow? <laughs> she's Jewish. 
So, oh yeah, so my no, god, she's actually there we Czech. Go. So she's her parents, her family's Czech, and then Whoa. they moved to Germany. What's this got to do with you not being able to cook rice? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm trying to switch the fucking <laughs> turn the tables on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Please don't call that out. You know, well, but, yeah. well done, my friend. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah. I'm trying to go, go to a different direction. You're in love, right? <laughs> <laughs> After rice, yeah. you gotta go to that. You gotta go love. Yeah, hey, yeah fat you boy. Go. You ever kiss a girl, huh? <laughs> yeah. But how, so how, let me ask this because you know we were in love and then kind of fell out a little bit. I still love her so much. Mm-hmm. We're like, be- I love her so much. Mm-hmm. My best friend. <laughs> Thank I, I love her Thank so much. You. But what I'm saying is, is that um, how long have you been in the relationship? Uh, like eight the, years. Eight years. Yeah. And you're still it's, and you know what's great about it, guys? Can I just say something? Still what? All moonlighting canoes? No, of course not. Yeah, it's a nightmare all the time. <laughs> really? Yeah. What do you mean? I don't know. It just is. But you love her. Right. She loves me. We're there for each other. Oh. I wouldn't have it any other way. Really? Yeah. I love that. So when you're on the road and, you know, a titty's flap, what happens? There's no titties flapping and his titties are flapping in my face. <laughs> <laughs> we do have a nice pool out here, I should say. <laughs> but you have women that they don't go, ooh, like that. <laughs> What is this? A girl's going wild? <laughs> <laughs> 1999. That? Yeah. And that's what you think girls do? They go, woo. <laughs> I mean, sometimes after shows, I have a girl go, hey. Really? Uh, no. no, we don't have I don't have it. We don't have that. Also, uh, my wife is. Have you seen us? Significantly more attractive than me. To the point where it's like I'm not landing. I what I what I would just be able to land on the road in one night is not. <laughs> he ain't doing better. No, I'm not doing better. <laughs> yeah, right. and you don't think you're gonna do better? It's not a matter of that. It's love. You know, that's why. I, that's why I, I learn from you guys, man. You know, <laughs> learn a little. Yeah. What? You learn a little too late, but it's okay. It's okay. No, it's not. I'm not learning too late. It's never too late to learn. That's in a book or something. <laughs> yeah. That's what I've heard. Too, too late. Yeah. Yeah. Were you guys best friends before you started the podcast? Yes. Yeah. This is our third podcast. We've Whoa. our third or fourth we podcast. We started together. comedy together in Philly. Yeah. And Ari said only you two idiots would try again for a fourth time. <laughs> and really? then it actually worked. Yeah. yeah. Well, what happened the first time? Did it uh we did it. We started a pod. We started we were in Philadelphia together and uh we were down there for about five years and then moved up here. And when we got up here, you know, we kind of had the in New uh, York, not up here. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. When we got to New York, we kind of knew that, you know, we were somewhat on our own and had to try to figure something out between us. Um, but so were you guys without the podcast? I mean, when you came into the New York scene. Yeah, we were friends in Philly. Were yeah, you, yeah, yeah. But were you accepted into the New York scene right away, or did you have to struggle a little bit? Oh, it was just, I mean, no, it was yeah, a struggle. Everybody yeah, everybody struggles. struggles. Uh, we started, like, you know, the really shitty bar shows. For, wow. You know, you're doing 10, 12 of those a week, just, you know, for th- two, three people, sometimes 40, a lot of times five, six. You're doing that till 1 a.m., going home, working a day job, yeah. going out, you know, changing in a McDonald's bathroom to go do sets and stuff oh like that. God. No money, you know. For how long did that last? A couple of years. And then, you know, we were working in the city, different clubs. I was hosting a lot at New York Comedy Club. Got to meet a lot of people, you know, through that, through hosting. Uh, he was doing the road a little bit. And the whole time we were doing another podcast together, just kind of just a, like a, you know, bullshitting around podcast. Didn't really pick up any steam. And then we started doing one just me and him right before uh, Are You Garbage mm. called Hard Feelings, where it was just me and him sitting in my car bitching about our days, <laughs> you know, going through all that stuff. And like, had about oh, 50 I, people listening. Yeah. Like, most oh, of wow. family and friends. Wow. Yeah. But the whole time we always kind of shit on each other about how we grew up. Like, you know, you did this growing up, you did that growing up, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And that's kind of where the idea came from. And then we played it on the old podcast uh, once together. And then we were like, fuck, that's, you know, that, that was really fun. That was really good. And then right before the pandemic, we both were kind of like, hey, we should do that as a podcast because it's us stripped down wow. to our most natural form. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Of track. And then in like classic our bozo fashion, we start it, dump all the money we have into it, which is like a couple hundred bucks. You know what I mean? Like we're like, all right, we're like rented a studio. We're going to pay them to shoot it. I'll learn how to do the clips. I'll learn how to do all the stuff. Wow. And then the world shut down. The world shut. We had three. Oh, it shut. It shut down. The pandemic happened in our third week of launching. Are you guard? Oh, my God. And I was just like, I remember I was walking with my wife and I was just like, I can't fail again. It was like one of those like movie moments. I'm like, I cannot fail again. I can't have another failed project. Mm. Like this fucking sucks. Wow. So we just like doubled up and the, the pandemic kind I wanted of, to check out yes. the Hawaii. It helped us. <laughs> <laughs> he was like he was ready to fuck. Oh, you got, got my stimulus check and I was gone. <laughs> 1200 can't tell me shit. Well, you, you were going to get out. <clears throat> no, I don't know. It was just like what the fuck are we going to do? Yeah. So we just knuckled up and we're like, let's do 
a hard, a hard feelings every day for a half an hour, and let's do two episodes of Are You Garbage every week and wow. the, over Zoom. And like, so we wanted like all of these guests, like New York guests that we were going to try to get the Schultzes, the Soders, the Normans, the List, like all those guys. And it would have taken us uh, 18 months to get them all with schedules, like if the world didn't shut down. Right. But now they're all home. They all know us and like us from like working in the club. Right. And so like you, we just hit up Schultz. Hey, you know, when he was blowing up and you're like, hey, you do my potty. He's like, I can do it this afternoon. And when you, you do it soda, through Zoom? Or all through Zoom. Zoom. That's what everybody was doing. Through and Zoom. everybody was cool as shit and, and were awesome about yeah. it. And great advocates for us. And it wow. And then and you just saw the numbers go up. So they started yeah. going up. And then after that, uh, we kind of, the world kind of started opening up a little bit. And we had, we had some steam. And then my wife, God bless her, she had uh, $10,000 in her savings account. Dumped it all into a studio. And then for months, then... Is that the studio I went to? Yeah. That's the studio you went to. Oh, right. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. We just we got a new one in March. Yeah, we just built a... We, we got a, a new, bigger it, one. A big... Yeah. It's like, oh, we have offices and two My studios God, that's and a amazing. kitchen. Incredible. Yeah, it's crazy. Congratulations. So, thank you. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Now we're here talking to you guys. Which is surreal. Yes. It's, Why? I remember when you guys first started. We I would watch you. I, I was, I've always been a big podcast fan, so like... Yeah, to sit here with you guys in the, it's crazy. It's so fucking cool. Yeah, I mean, Whitney was what, the person that originally turned me on to you She's guys. been a big advocate. Yeah, Very she's, cool. She, cool. You got to know these guys. She was awesome. And yeah. then when Jeremiah and you guys were hanging out at yeah. the store. Yeah, we I, talked about I that. Go. Shout out to Jeremiah. He came, you I came go, and vetted us. them? Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 They're fatter than I thought. <laughs> and the are, one's really ugly. Those aren't two guys I want to do a human thing. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess they'll do. And then you guys went to Norm's. And we I came. went to, we went to Norm. Norm. Came and you hung out. Yeah. I hung out with you guys. And Jeremiah yeah. was like, oh shit, Bobby's. Bobby might be coming. And then he saw you get out of the car and he's like, Bobby's here. And he's like, he's vetting you. I've been asking him to come out to dinner with me for years. And he says, no. <laughs> he's, co he's coming to put you guys through the ringer. I know. I, I know. I we know. had a great time. Yeah. And we that... picked up the bill, just saying. <laughs> did I, not, I didn't offer. No, you did, and we we you had four dollars in your wallet. <laughs> yeah, no, you're like I have cash. <laughs> you go, I'll give you cash, and it was like three crumbs up one. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh. No, but you did offer to pick up the whole. Thank you. Obviously. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Of course. And then ever since then, we've been like friends. We've been pals. Yeah. Pals. And we love it. Yeah. It's really cool. That's fucking amazing. Steve. And then we got to, got to meet you at the show, which was awesome. Yeah. yeah. The show was great. It was so cool to, that you guys called us to be a part of it. Honestly, it's like, yeah, we sounds it. cheesy, but like, I, it, we were in the car. It's like, Bobby just fucking texted me, asked us to do the show. We're like, we're but fucking doing it. People were stoked to see you guys. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. cool. Love you guys. Yeah, it was but very was, surreal. I, but I'm also observing people, like, last night at the store. People are just very aware of you guys. And, you know, really? <laughs> yeah, we're so obtuse. What? We have no idea. No, what, yeah. No. People are like, you know, oh, those are the RU garbage guys. I would hear people. You know, uh, other, because yeah. there was there's an open mic there too. So there's a lot of a lot of people. Newer, yeah, yeah. So you could you you know I have some rumblings that you were there. You hmm. know what I mean? Well, yeah, we're, I mean, you I guys don't feel that about yourselves. I think it works. We're such idiots, man. It's not we we just stumble through everything. No, I, and you know, that's kind of us, us too. Yeah, like I, that's I what we're if you're be yourself and it's, you know, I don't know. Like, I don't know how we've been doing this for this long. I also don't honestly. know why people yeah. will listen to me. Well, I think... <laughs> I don't know anything. Here's what I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> like, I actually think you're doing God's work. Like, even talking about just, like, how, like, even when you talk about, like, your addiction mm -hmm. or every bit of that makes people feel a little bit less fucked up about their own life. And I think it that's does, truly, yeah. like, a gift that's, like, a that keeps on giving. Because, like, I think when we started Tiger Belly... That we didn't know what the fuck we were doing. We mm -hmm. thought we were just telling childhood stories, and they were horrible stories, yeah. right? But then you see people come to the shows, and they're like, "Yeah, like, hey, like, we I were stabbed too." Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah no, it, <laughs> I don't realize I, I got pimples on my I, nose too. <laughs> <laughs> like, like they're like, I have a an uncle, say for instance, who's like a murderer, right? Mm -hmm. I met the him. cold, like, like stone cold murderer. But I love him. I adore him. Mm -hmm. When I see him, I hug him. Bobby like throws money at him. He chopped his brother in half with a machete. With a machete. That's murder. Yeah, that's what. That <laughs> <is>. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you're like, Wait, no, no, he's a real murderer. <laughs> in, <laughs> broad, guys in broad daylight, and like I talk about like that weird feeling of. He's like, not here now, is it? <laughs> no, no, he's no, not but that's not you, is it? <laughs> no, but he's free. He's free. Well, he he was twenty years. He's okay. Got. But I've met him many times. Yeah. Self defense was there more to the no. anger, rage. 
Rage. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was ra it's money dispute. <laughs> Here in the States, this Philippines. happened? The Philippines. Ooh. You'll love the 20 years rules. in the Philippines prison? Yeah. Yikes. What's and you know, like? he has like kind of no remorse. What do you mean? He's like, I'll do it again. If <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker owed me 10 bucks. <laughs> but, you know, like I would talk about how like, I don't know what, what it is in my brain where I still... My only memories of him are love him being a loving uncle when I was sure. a child. So I have like my heart swells when I see him, mm -hmm. and I feel so fucked up over it. Mm. But even like talking about shit like that, people are like, "Oh fuck!" Like my life isn't as <clears throat> you know what I mean terrible as sure. I think it is. Yeah, well, all, that's we're all fucked up. That's the yeah. thing we kind of realized too. Of like we were just telling stupid stories yeah. that aren't necessarily the saddest, but they're just like ah, you know, money was tight at these times, and this is what yeah. my parents would do. And it's more of like, we didn't realize it would resonate with this many people. Like, you know, we thought it was kind of like just our type thing. You're like, yeah. oh, this is what we experienced or whatever. And then so many people are like, I also had that and this and that yeah. and this. And then once like the guests started coming and telling their crazy stories, people were like, my dad did that. My brother did that. My sister did that. Like, so all that shit. And it's more of like, we realized it's like, welcome to the party. Like, we're not. We shit on, like, you come on, someone's like, oh, I did that. We're like, ah, that's trashy, you suck, whatever. But it's like, it's more of like, welcome. We also do that. Like, right. we're, yeah. it's welcome to the party here, not judging you. It's also interesting because, you know, back in the day, we used to do radio. And it's not the same as radio. Radio, when a comic did a weekend somewhere mm -hmm. and they got, they picked him up in the morning, mm -hmm. they would do their bits. Yeah. Right? And just their strongest bits. And, they, and then the DJ would go, hey, tell me something to set up with some of your jokes. And I always ate it during those ones. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's like, that's just what I, uh -huh. it's just not my skill set. Yeah. Right? My act is my act, right? And then once I did Opie and some of these other shows, it kind of, you kind of go, oh. The, more free form. Yeah, and be more vulnerable or, you know what I mean? More of a real conversation. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes I'll say the most fucked up things or whatever. It was just, a, an open arena that, that it was more my thing, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And that's what podcasting is. Not, uh, we got Bobby Lee in the studio. He's a real crazy <laughs> cat. He likes to wear a hat. Bobby, <laughs> Bobby, tell us about some of your hat. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to fucking hate that shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? We and never I, had to do it. Like, if we were, oddly enough, Oh, my God, you're do it. so fucking lucky. And you know what also can I say is that I've been... Um, I've been around since 1995. Mm -hmm. And so it's like I was around when you had six gatekeepers in Hollywood, and if they didn't like you, you weren't gonna make it. I mean, you're talking yeah. about casting directors, you know, and, and like, I don't see it, you're fucked. That's done, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're done. And so even club owners, like, clubs would go, there's three clubs in LA. If none of them liked you. That's it. Yeah, you're just doing other things, you know what I mean? And now we're in a point where it's like, you can just, Go this way. I do yeah. think the seeds of that, the seeds of what's happening now did kind of start in mainstream media because when, you know, the technology started to get a, a little bit better or people were backed into a corner, people did start making like their own end up small independent movies or short films or whatever. Yeah. And kind of push themselves through that, which I think kind of is the same thing that's happening now. Yeah. Just in a, a different medium. Yeah, you know I mean, I mean? Had, yeah, I mean, you had the rise of YouTubers and Vine stars and uh -huh. this and that. I'm saying even before that, like, Whoa. look at Favreau. You know what I mean? They, like they made swingers. They wrote swingers. when they made swingers. It's like no yeah, one's yeah. gonna give me a big Hollywood movie. Let me see if I can get. I'll do this on a shoestring budget. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My favorite one of those movies is. Have you ever see El Mariachi? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Have you seen El Mariachi? Mm -mm. Have you? I haven't. No one's seen it. Yeah. You've seen it. I forgot he was here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like a cold yeah, shiver yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the dead looking white guy's still here. Uh, <laughs> I thought you were a mannequin. This <laughs> so, uh, who directed it? Robert Rodriguez. Okay, that's it. Oh, okay, I good. I like him. After he did short bedhead. What? He did short bedhead with his sister, brother and sister before that, and that was his first feature film. He went to there Columbia you go. for oh, film that's right. school. He went to film school. That's right. I'm a fucking nerd. <laughs> but anyway, Robert Rodriguez made this movie, and this movie cost. 15 grand? Whoa. Yeah. Uh, how did he make that money? How? Uh, he uh, sold himself to science. He did uh, blood it's, tests on himself. Uh, like, you know, they'd give him drugs and... Uh, oh, it's just like yeah, a clinical a, studies? Yeah, clinical Sweet, jeez. Wow. Talk about earning Shut it. Shut the fuck up now. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like it, but it's it's turning... It's it's, it's, it's sounding um like you're talking down to us. <laughs> and I went to college too, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I, I get and it. And it just feels like... It doesn't feel right. 
You know what I mean? But thank you so much for that information. <laughs> In his defense, though, you did try to out Hollywood us. We're like, oh, <laughs> no one saw, yeah. no one saw a mariachi. No one, no one, <laughs> no all idiots. None, <laughs> none of you guys saw picture frames. You didn't see picture that's, frames. That's, that's, that's true. That's true. Yeah. My bad. My bad. I tried to out Hollywood. I, but anyway, El Marjo took fifteen grand to make, and everything was one take. Really? Yeah. And it's such a great movie. Dude. I'm gonna check it out. Though. And it made what millions. Through time, you know, and so I just love, you know, and it, I love guys that go, oh, you know what? I have this amount of money. Mm -hmm. I think Blair Witch was like that. Was it that? Yeah, it's very and grand. Was that some Napoleon kind of precursor Dynamite well. to Dawn, Dawn of the same director? Okay, yeah, yeah, because the guitar case and the and the Uzi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not Antonio Banderas in that movie. Though, no, right? he couldn't get him then. Okay, yeah, it was, was just, Dust Till Dawn. Is that what I'm thinking? Of? Yeah, Dust yes. Till Dawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was uh, George Clooney, yeah. Tarantino, Clooney at his clooniest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And this movie, um, you know, because Tarantino loves, you know, this kind of shit. You yeah. know, it's it's very violent. This movie. Yeah. But you, I I really highly recommend watching it because you'll you'll appreciate like wow, art can be made for little money with, and without a studio. Sure. And this and that, you know. But it's like, but we're so lucky because I was on my way out of Hollywood, and, and because and um, and, um and thank God this came. I could just do this now. Yeah. You know what I mean? And we're very, I get to meet you guys like you and stuff. Yeah, I think it's, I, uh, I don't think you were on your way out of Hollywood. <laughs> I don't think so either. Yeah. I know, but it just felt, you know. No, so it's I not that, understand. No, he, that's not what I wasn't out. <laughs> you went out. Oh, no, 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 let me tell you, punk, something. I wasn't out of nothing. Well, <laughs> see this caveat? It's freaking out. Yeah. I love, did you see that documentary? What? The kid is still in the picture? Kid stays in the picture. Kid stays, yeah, that's all right. Great. Well, Bob Evans, right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the dude I that, thought you were talking about the breakfast guy this whole no. time. <laughs> I swear to God. That really? character was also in The Offer uh, about the making of The Godfather. And oh. the guy who played Osmondi, one of the characters in The Watchmen, was the actor that played Bob Evans in that, and he was fucking great. Oh, oh so, so I should good. watch it. Oh, yeah, The Offer's awesome, so dude. Good. It is? So, so good. good. Oh, I gotta watch The Offer. Yeah. It's on Paramount Plus, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that sounded like a the plug, by the way. Bob Evans. He played Asmodeus in wait, Is that name. Bob Evans or the, the actor that plays Bob Evans? The actor that the plays actor. Bob Evans. Whoa, it looks kind of like Bob Evans. Yeah, he was great, His dude. Dude, look at him. That's he great. That, you know who Bob Evans is? I don't. He's this yeah. old school Hollywood executive from Paramount. Mm hmm. And he green, green lit. Wow, I gotta watch it then. That's it. but also anyone listening right now, watch that documentary. The kid stays in, which he narrates himself, right? Which is great. Imagine that this kid, this guy, Bob Evans, right? Yeah, like was first an school. actor. Wasn't he trying to act? He he did some sort of like movie about he was an Elmar, not Elmar, what, 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 what the Matador movie, uh, movie. That I don't know. Yeah, and then he was a good looking guy, and he was at a pool, and they just. Turned into this Hollywood mogul. Yeah, married it's, to Ali McGraw. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh. From the love yeah. story. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which he produced that movie. He produced that movie, too. And then produced, yeah. the, then had a, produced The Godfather and had a string of hits. Yeah. 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 Oh, my God. What a great documentary. You'll love The Offer. Don't tell me what I'm going to love, man. <laughs> tell me what he's going to love. The gonna balls hate. on this guy. Come, <laughs> hey, come in your you, house, tell him what you're going to love. <laughs> no. Yeah. Do you watch The Offer? No. Yeah. What You don't. You, you sound like you don't watch it. I'm not a big movie guy. <laughs> Maker. Ubi? Yeah. You don't. You, you don't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. Because you didn't watch you're, one thing. You, you think, no, you you're think, too like, ugly you to watch movies. No, 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 that's not what I was like. You're cute. I, I did not just, say it. I did that as a comedy. <laughs> it's a comedy. Kevin. Can I have a cup of coffee, please? Kevin. <laughs> last, night, last night, didn't we have our moment? We had our, yeah, when you tried to send me down to the goddamn polter. <laughs> were you try, is that what you were trying to do? I was, I was trying to freak him up a little bit. Were you going to send him down like, and turn the lights out like a fucking bully? Well, dude, like he, a opened, babysitter? he opened the door and stepped away. He was like, you go. You go in. Uh, I'm what? like, get the So fuck that's out why here. you're mad that I didn't come, because you didn't get to scare me. I know. I was going to scare the shit out of you. You bastard. Yeah, yeah. But when you like. When, uh, I got news for you. I was already scared just being in the hallway. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Because right before we walked in, uh, Kim Cogden told us that she had a creepy experience with the the door opened or something like that. So oh. she, she got shushed. Yeah. Oh, she got shushed by like she was walking by a closet and yeah. nobody was in there and it was like shh. Oh, I didn't like what Lisa Trigger did either. What? We were all three oh, walking in the you hallway. Got upset about that? A little bit. <laughs> we were walk. Us three were walking in the hallway. He's and, and she looks at me. And she goes out of the way. <laughs> 
<laughs> love that Lisa Trank. I love her. And yeah. I got pressed aside, and she went beeline to you guys. Mm -hmm. But he's like, "What the fuck is this? What the, the fuck?" But is she, this? We had already had a conversation before that. That's why. Or, that's her excuse. Sure. Of course. But just, I don't like when anyone does this. Yeah. <laughs> like out of the way, little man. You know what I mean? The whites are coming through. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're implying. Yeah. All that stuff. But in my mind, that's sure, what it is. Sure, you know what I mean? Sure, sure. Yeah, you guys are the whites. Yes. Wait, I have a question <laughs> for you. We are. <laughs> Um, just because I was like a massive fangirl of this show, is it true that you went to either audition or be part of Dawson's Creek? Oh yeah, what's that story? Oh, tell me, tell me, tell me. Man, that's a real positive spin on the real story. <laughs> <laughs> you were in Dawson's Creek? Holy shit. Oh. It was either you or James Vanderbeek. <laughs> Man. It came down to the wire, dude. That's how that's how, like, that's whispered down the lane. Of, I waited on James Vanderbeek yeah. once and ate the rest of his hamburger. <laughs> I believe that's the story in Variety you probably Oh, heard. man. No, I went to, uh, <laughs> I flunked out of college uh, in 1995, and the last thing I did in college was uh, I had, a like, a theater class, and the guy that taught it was really cool and liked me. And he said, you know, when this unravels, which I can tell that it is, <laughs> uh, there's a repertory theater in the area that you should audition to see if you can go study there. And I did, and my roommate at the time went to Chapel Hill, and he's like, man, there's there's a real scene down there in uh, in Wilmington, North Carolina, because they were filming Dawson's Creek down there. Uh. So instead of moving to New York or L.A. after graduating, or after... <laughs> he moved to fucking North Carolina. He moved to North Carolina. You can't <laughs> make it in show business. <laughs> you have one show. That's, if they say no... <laughs> I didn't, and also I didn't know that, I didn't understand the process that just because they film it in North Carolina it doesn't mean they cast, cast it. it. <laughs> yeah. He was just going to show up and like knock on the door. Yeah, I moved like, here. Yeah, I'm here, guys. Yeah. And what came of that? Uh, Nothing? An a, a eight-month addiction to crack cocaine and planting palm trees on the beach in Wait, the what? burning what? North Carolina. <laughs> 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 really? really want another yeah. Yeah. You start smoking crack. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like the opposite of <laughs> uh, what to do, I think. <laughs> because I did Any actors struggling don't, out there, that's don't do that. Yeah. I did I did I obviously I, I did blow and down there that's what they did. They I mean, you know, there was like a version of freebasing or make it looked like crack to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, yeah. it was crack. Does that feel good? Oh, it's awesome. I, uh, yeah, it's all right. Have you done meth. crack? I never did crack, really. No, just no. meth? Meth, yeah. Mm. yeah. Have I, you done crack? What? The, no. That's, <laughs> <laughs> don't what? You should have had a PI yeah, caviar in your hand <laughs> when you slowly turned your chair. Now you, I nose pimples. Crack. Have you ever done crack? These LA I'm types, I tell uh, you. No I'm starting you don't to like feel. movies it's, or crack. It's true what my mom says about you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I see you don't like crack, do you? You don't like movies, you don't like crack. I, I know. I, I knew something about it. <laughs> Something no, but about that is you. like every year I, I'm starting to feel like the minority because everyone has done crack, meth, cocaine, and I've never done any of that. Uh, no, I've you're never, not a nerd. I've never he done likes crack. an IPA. I'll tell you that. Yeah, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm what they call an alcoholic. <laughs> you like beer? Uh, yeah, okay. I come from a large drinking family. Oh, that's great. That's yeah. great. That's great. And you know, that's wild too. Yeah, it's pretty pretty crazy. <laughs> it's crazy stuff. Like George, ask him if he's done crack. Have you done crack? He's on crack right now. <laughs> you never done crack. No, just smoke cocaine. You smoke cocaine. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. in the family. It's in of the crack. family of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was it in, was it in powder form or is yeah. it was it in a rock form? Powder. Yeah. You did rock. Yeah. Yeah. And then what? After eight months of doing that and planting palm trees. I just I was working as a landscaper and working in the kitchen. And oh, I thought that I, was just something that you that did. Was like a passion project. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I gotta start planting palm trees. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you had a job doing that. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. Wow. I was living in like a shitty uh, apartment complex um, and working at a restaurant, at a seafood restaurant, and working during the week as a landscaper, which was brutal. Wow. Yeah. Wow. But you still kept your jobs, no? Or did the crack get in the way? No, crack never got in the way. <laughs> That's yeah, crazy yeah. to be like a functional crack addict. <laughs> what the? Fuck yeah, I mean, that? I wouldn't say I was a cracked addict. I enjoyed crack cocaine. <laughs> I mean, the PR spin of this <laughs> is crazy. I was doing, I was experimenting with drugs. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Okay. And did you abruptly quit after that? I mean, what happened? Um, yeah, I mean, there was a, I was, I realized that what the fuck are you doing down here? Mm. Uh, my brother was just moving to New York after uh, graduating uh, school. Um, 
and he or he was up there for maybe like a year, and he's like, "Get out of there, come up. You can come up and and, and stay with me." Oh, yeah, well, then I ended up doing, becoming <laughs> cocaine addict <laughs> in New York. They have it there too. Yeah, and then yeah, 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 then yeah. moved home and started comedy. But at you guys 32. didn't know each other at this time. No, right? we met no. in Philly. He was in high school, I think. Yeah. Oh, you're much older. He's 47. I'm 47. And oh how old are you? 37. Oh, so 10 years. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. I didn't start doing comedy until I was 32 in Philly. Wow. Yeah. And then how, I want to know, because I, what? let me guess. Okay. You're you're starting comedy in Philadelphia, and you mm-hmm. glom on to the best guys that you see. No. No. Oh, no? No. Yeah, he no. needed cigarettes, and I had cigarettes. <laughs> it was like jail. It wasn't. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Oh. No. Yeah. You, no. see, you hadn't seen his act like, I got to get into this guy's. I didn't. No, you saw my act and made fun of me. Yeah, I oh. still make fun of him. I didn't love it. He was real. Uh, so at the show that <laughs> he used to run with, like, our friends, he was he had started a couple years before me. Yeah. And then I started coming around, and uh, there was this show. It was like an open mic. It was like a showcase open mic, and it was really good in Philly because there wasn't that many opportunities. Mm. So there was this Thursday night show at this place called The Raven Lounge. In the first half of it, they would put up to 10 best comics in the room to keep the audience. Wow. And then the second half, it was like, you know, they would kind of funnel through. And But if you did well the week before, they'd be like, all right, well, you know, you try to get bumped up. It was and a real we, were, we were maniacs about it. We really tried to run, like, the best show. We thought we were doing They thought they were running, like, The Tonight Show. Yeah. Right? Oh, like, wow. It was well, like, the, not, like, in arrogance outside of it, but we were... Fighting and like you got to do, you got to make it the best thing ever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wow. We, we were we were nuts about it, and you guys both ended up being in the first half. So he was running it. So he was running yeah. it. I uh. showed up one week, and my first, I think, it was my first or second time ever on stage, and did pretty well, like considering. And he had Saul or something, and you had then what? Th- I saw a spark he, in the kid. He I saw. Mean, he oh, yeah, do yeah. well. Oh, you saw something. The next week, <laughs> a like, guy like his that. pimples on his nose. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Rudolph, get up there and don't bomb. <laughs> don't embarrass me, kid. <laughs> wow, wow. So he gave <laughs> Vanderbeek's in the audience. <laughs> and were you, but is, were you a, a, enamored that he, or flattered? <laughs> were you flattered that the, the guy that no. runs the show, what? No, he was a big, fat loser. I mean, <laughs> you just heard the years leading up to when I met him. What do you think he was? <laughs> He, I was wearing. He was a, wearing. A, I was wearing a sport coat and sweatpants. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's not, not even a joke. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. So, I wasn't supposed to go. I had done well the first time. Like, well, you know, considering the first time I was there, and then he was like, the person who was supposed to go up and close the second, like, was supposed to headline the first half, mm. wasn't in the room. So they saw me. They were like, all right, this kid did good. We don't know him, but he did good last week. Just kind of go up there and I guess do the same thing you did last week. Yeah. I didn't know. It was my second time doing comedy. I didn't know how comedy worked. So I wrote that five minutes. And then the ne- that week, I just wrote a brand new five minutes. Oh. And just bombed. <laughs> so bad. And I saw him in the back put his hand in his head. Wow. Like, and, but he gave me the speech before. He's like, listen, I'm going to need a good set out of you. Go up there. <coughs> knock him dead. Give him hell, kid. And I was I, big on the speech. <laughs> yeah, wow. Yeah, he loved wow. a good speech. And I, I ate my balls. And then I didn't get back <laughs> on stage for like a year after. I was so, oh, so scared and so embarrassed. Wow. I ran him out of the business, by the <laughs> <laughs> Wow. You'll never work in this town yeah. again. I mean, people <laughs> Let me get a smoke. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, early on, those bombs... You never forget. No. Oh, I'll never, I'll never forget it's him scarring. turning his head away and being like, "Yeah, oh, I don't know what I, I thought I knew what I was." It doing. Was it a packed room? Yeah, um, like fifty people probably. Yeah, yeah. The crazy thing to me was back then thinking ever that I was even okay at it, and like looking back on it, uh, how bad you were, how yeah. bad. Like I still it, think it, I stink. You know. Yeah, of course. And but it, back then, if you knew how bad you truly were. That's what you have to have that certain amount of delusion in you to keep going. You know, like, oh, that one was all right. That was pretty good. Uh, int- let me think. Yeah, he, I, I, I think I knew how bad I was, but I, I, I could see improvements too. That's that's also very big. And right. So if like a bigger comic, like, oh, good bit or great job, right, like, right, oh, that keeps right. you moving. You're like, like for me, positive. it was like um, when I for the first year, my only sign that I was kind of going in the right direction was. You know, Pauly Shore mm-hmm. and Carlos Mencia asked me to open for them. Yeah, that's great. And that's sort of like, oh, maybe there's something. There's there. something there, and they're like, you're green, and you bomb every other time, but there's something <laughs> there. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah, and then you would, you know, <laughs> this is pre Mad TV, right? Yeah, pre. This is like when when I you got that, you were like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to be here, right? No, really. 
Yeah. I, Did you think that um, being Asian helped you out because Polly has an obsession with Asian people? I think that did, yeah, that did help. Right? Yeah. Is it known that he has an obsession with Asian? People? I don't know. I don't. I don't know the man. Painfully addicted. Really? <laughs> yeah, and not in a good way. There's just something about he thinks we're dogs. Okay. Well, no, wasn't he raised by? Yeah, I know, but he pets family? me like you know what I mean. Oh, come, you know, it'll you know what I mean. He'll pet me like a dog. <laughs> oh, good boy, good boy. You know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, and it's like, all right, all right. And he thinks I'm Chinese, but that's fine. Because yeah. <laughs> he sings a song. Yeah. Yeah. Chinese. This, uh, yeah. He, we're like, we go to the Korean spa, and he'll go, Chinese people are the most beautiful people in the world. That's sweet. But he'll say it out loud in front of all the other Asians. Koreans. And they all look at me, and I'm like, oh, he's Jewish. <laughs> 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 they do that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, that's all right. Yeah, no, but I'll tell you. So what happened was I started in '95, and then um, all the locals in San Diego didn't like me at all, like all the older ones, because I realized they didn't want to help me in any sure. way, and they didn't want to. They never went. We were the black sheep of the of the city as well. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, that's what was, I felt that's like. Why I, we started that that show? That show. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I felt like th- like half the community didn't like me. Because I would do weird things. Like, I would get naked or... <laughs> do the human centipede. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I would, like, I, you know, sometimes, like, if I didn't, wasn't doing well, I would, like, pull my, just my bum out and I'll stick a candle or something and jam it in my butthole <laughs> during open mic or whatever. Because mm. they have these little candles at the... It's lower. a good bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a great bit. <laughs> Closer. Closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not Don't... pulling that at the Raven Lounge. I'll tell you that, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. But I would do weird things and they'd be like, that's not comedy. Sure. That guy's weird. You know what I mean? But, um... But I, I moved up here and I struggled for a couple of years, and then you know I got Mad TV. But that was um, when the pain reel started. Starting being on that show felt like I was doing open mics again. Mm. Really? Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Why? They just didn't like me. Hmm. Yeah, and it wasn't in my mind. It was like a real thing. Yeah, you know, so it was, wasn't a fun place to be. You weren't the first. I mean, outwardly, you were flourishing on that show. Everybody thought in my third year, yeah, the okay. first couple of years, I was barely on it. It was it was a struggle, and I was like, I was like, I, I need to get out of here because it was like I had relapse. I had like a bunch of mm. I had twelve years of sobriety. I got sober when I was seventeen, and then when I was on the show, I relapsed, and then um, it just started going down. So it was like a whole nother nightmare. It, it, you know, and then they wouldn't find me because I was the only ethnic guy on any fucking Fox show or whatever, or Asian guy. So it was like, yeah, I was like stuck. You know what I mean? And it was yeah. it was hard. But then I got sober again in my third year. I started killing it. But um, it was t- there ever a point in any of you guys' like, career where you were like, oh, I think I'm actually done here. Like I've given it all I've got, and I think I need to resort to a plan B. Uh, cool. I yeah, like just. In the yeah, in the city, just you know, at that this point, I was doing like club spots, but like they were the guest spots or some paid spots, and you'd go up and kill. Like I was killing in the city, mm. and then I would walk out of the room, and be like, it it doesn't matter. Like you know, and it's like yeah. I just I'm like I walked out of there. There was 90 people in the room. I killed. No one even knows my first name. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. there's no like how am I going to go? And I'm, and I was looking to be like, well, how are we going to get? On the road, if no one, you know, like, how are people going to come out and see you if they don't remember? Like, right. it just lives and dies in that room, which is great, and which is why I love comedy. But like for a career, it's like, yeah, you, they have to follow you out of that room. Yeah, you go. I would look at other comics and I go, "How do you do it?" Yeah, I don't know how to do it. But was there a point where you're like, "Okay, I think I'm done"? Yeah, I was saying. I remember standing on a street corner with this with a with a buddy of mine, Pete, and I was just like, "I." It was like two in the morning. We just got done sets, and I'm like, "I don't know what else to do." Like I, I'm trying this, and it's like, and this was the point where like people started like popping off, you know, not TikTok. I don't think at the point, but like Instagram, and you're like, that guy's doing this, and it's like, oh, what rock. do I have to do? Like the clips were a big thing, and it was like, I'm trying to do that. It's not really working, but then this person just got five million views on something, and now they have a hundred thousand mm-hmm. things, and they're on tour, and it's like I was just sitting there like, none of this fucking, none of this is working. Mm-hmm. But then, what keeps what keeps you going? Killing, doing well, like you're like I love comedy and I love and it's like all right, you keep going, you chase that, you keep going back, and then you know, luckily we this kind of. I think I think what it is is you 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 can't live in the results and and and, oh yeah, and this to live in the process, right? And so I think that's what I convinced myself like just like you just 
you have to do it because you love doing it, mm-hmm. right? And if you expect things, that's when the your heart breaks. Yeah, yeah but yeah, I, yeah. but but I also said to the universe, I'm just not going to stop. That was that was another thing, and like I would I would have not like real conversations, but like you know run it out. Like I have like an like obsessive head, so like I'm running like all right, well like I'm getting married. My wife is moving here from Germany. I make maybe. Three thousand dollars a year off comedy. Wow! And I, I have a day job or a part time day job, and it was like, how am I gonna make fifty thousand dollars a year doing comedy to support? We're living in New York. We live in Manhattan with a wife. It's like I can't. Yeah, it sounds. So it was like, do we move back to Philadelphia and maybe I commute up? But it's like I know guys that do have done that, and it's like. They come up two days a week, then one day a week, then two days a month, then one day a month, and then you're just phased out. And it's like, yeah. I don't want to put myself in that position to like eventually just give up. Right. So it was like, but yeah, I mean, all of that ran through me. I was going to, we were going to move to Germany and just be like, I'll be the funniest guy in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just go make a bunch of Deutschmark. You know I mean? Yeah, like, wow, wow. You go over there, you start, you start eating it. Wow. Yeah. wow. <laughs> I'm getting buried. <laughs> well, I'm usually here in Japan. <laughs> you join every country. You end fail up, in every country. You end up running a comedy club in Belarus <laughs> 15 years from now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need a good set out of you. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Yeah. And then, did you, how about you? You just... No, uh, no, no point. No, um, I had backed myself into such a corner that I, um, the first couple of years in New York were brutal. We're yeah, we're brutal. I, I think anytime you move somewhere and you're struggling in any city, it's there's no money, not a lot of positive reinforcement. And then when we, you know, kind of started working in the clubs, you know, I was I was lucky enough, like I said, to host at New York Comedy Club a lot. Um, and then as that moved forward, and you know, I'd be doing that most weekends. Uh, I was able to stop waiting tables, which I was still doing at, mm. like, I think, 37, 38. So when I started just kind of doing it full-time, hosting full-time a lot and, and, you know, working in the city, and then a little acting role here, a little acting role there, I kind of just told myself that I'm prepared if this is the way it is forever, I, I, I accept that because I'm in it and I'm doing it and mm. I, I love doing it and, you know, whatever it is, it is. Would- so that was kind of, it wasn't I ever thought about quitting. Were there people who told you that when you started at 32, 32, were there people that said, hey, you're starting way too late? Yeah. They were like, what the fuck are you doing? It was, I mean, these guys were 22, 23, 24. Yeah, I think um, I met them like, like 20. Their family and friends yeah. would like come to our shows and stuff like that. And like, you know, you know, one of my buddies from high school or cousin would come and be like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> 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 Wow. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. But I knew I wouldn't fit in, you know, like, I was just terrible at being, I guess, a person. Is that the right way to put it? <laughs> yeah. That's how I would sum it up. <laughs> yeah. Of yeah. being a human. Like, and, and that actually, being in New York and living that lifestyle, it gave me a lot of cover to, like, you know, not have a car or, mm, like, you to know. To be a loser. Like, you're allowed to be a loser. <laughs> not shitting on myself as well. Of like, I don't have a car. I'm behind on payments. I didn't pay my tax. Like, all of this shit that you're just, like, yeah. we're losers. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, my yeah. phone's <laughs> getting shut off every month. Like that. Yeah. yeah. But now, I mean, what was that? So we were at the store last night in the patio. I, I forgot her name. She used to live... She, she recognized you guys from New York. You guys... Oh, Mikaela. Mikaela. Yeah, Mikaela. Yeah, Mikaela, right? I love her. Yeah. But even when she saw you, you know, because she's deep in comedy, Mm -hmm. she was so excited to see you guys. So I just feel like you guys are a part of that. We yeah, we've known her. I mean, she she did the same thing. You know, she was uh, she was like uh, managing or working at like a club. You know, when we kind of started to get uh, spots and stuff, spots at clubs and stuff like that. And you know, now she's killing it. She's tour managing. She's doing all this stuff. It's just there. There was, you know. A bunch of people that, you know, it happens in every city that started out together and now, you know, are, are, are rising up a little bit. And it's a, you know, it's a good feeling. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So is the key to just not quit? Yeah. I think that's what it's like. If you don't quit and you can, I don't know. I mean, I, I've been successful for like eight months, but if yeah. you don't quit. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time having caviar. <laughs> yeah. If you don't quit, if you just, I, I think if it, I, I try to think of what if Are You Garbage didn't pop off and what I would be doing, and I'd go. What would you be doing? We would have just kept trying. Kept going, yeah, just kept smashing him and I against the wall. Wow, one hundred percent. You guys are best friends. Yeah, yeah. 
It's so nice. nice to, it's so nice to have. <laughs> <laughs> I like that yeah. sometimes. But there's a deep sense of like camaraderie and a bond. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. very brotherly. Like, it's like we fight. Like we were talking. Like we uh, when we were in Austin, I'm like we fight like crazy. Like we're just dysfunctional, is what it is. So yeah, it's like yeah, that's how we express ourselves is by me screaming at him and him fucking you know being a a, a dick about something. It's like, and then we get it out. We go okay, that's just how we communicate. Is it the most healthy thing? No, but it works and. <laughs> We're, that's how we, you know, that's how we do it. Like last know. night, we're at this restaurant. All right, I'm sitting there minding my own. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me, like, what, would you wrong? what do you guys fight about? Uh, everything. Yeah, every yeah. dysfunctional thing. I, I tend, he, I have, I have pretty bad anxiety. I got a list if you want me to go over it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because me and Andrews is this. This is the main thing. Mm -hmm. Is lifestyle uh, choices. Sure. <laughs> okay. Like he's. I'm. He wakes up at seven in the he's morning. He's very put together, like very. Right. He's he golfs. Place. Up and at him. Yeah. He's up and at me. He does. You know what I mean? Uh huh. So workouts. <laughs> whatever. That's, That's a, a guy who's never worked. He's <laughs> <a> workout. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He does. He does workouts, and he, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And then he's a um, he dances. Yeah. yeah, he dances. Yeah. And then he'll be like, oh, "I did yoga," and then and it just his whole day is. Sure. Fit. I don't wake up till three. Sharp guy. Right, that Andrew Saint. So you know. yeah, he's sharp. So when we're on the road and stuff, and he's like, he's also, when we're in Pittsburgh, you know what I mean? We're gonna go see this, and we're gonna mm. do this, and you know, and it's like I'm not even up. He's yeah, like a don't... type A. Yeah. What am I? Type something. Z. Something. Something. Is there a top Z? Type I think Z? you're not a letter. You're I the, think you're uh, like a punctuation mark or something. <laughs> That's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> you're your own thing, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, but we, dude, we like there's deep seated resentment. I could feel it on his end. It's inevitable, though. When you work in like such close proximity to someone for so long. Uh -huh. Yeah, and I got news for you. That ain't that bad. We're not fighting about me not wanting to go to a museum. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Cleveland. We're fighting about crazy shit. Like money? No, like though, like the, I always assume the worst is going to happen. <laughs> if, if, if I had to, and he, he doesn't like me think like, he thinks I'm like a psychiatrist, but I'm like, it's he has very bad anxiety. Me too. And he doesn't realize the effects of that in the car or on the team or when we're ever recording. It's like the other day he thought he had, he thought he had, to stop that <laughs> Wait, it, th I thought I had what? He thought he had lung cancer. H-Will, I have some crack. You want? <laughs> <laughs> he thought he had lung cancer. So he brings in, first of all, he asked his doctor for a chest x-ray. They told him, yeah, you don't need one. He gets the chest x-ray. He then immediately shows up to the studio. He goes into like his little portal online and they had put, they didn't, they had posted the pictures of the x-rays for the doctor to review. <laughs> Yeah. He's now, and it says like, you know, linear or whatever it is, negative, negative. Ne I was, he has four lists of negative, negative, negative. That's all bad news, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> and now he has all of us and like our interns going, uh. do you see anything in that upper corner? <laughs> what do you see yeah. there? Oh. What do you see there? Oh, oh what do you you're see that there? guy. For, yeah. Yeah. for five hours. And I'm going, dude. I, it's it's okay. Yeah. Just I'm like, hey, you have all positive feedback. It's just like negative. <laughs> it's wow. all good. And he's still like not. And then I, <laughs> wow, well, I didn't know that. Then I lose it because I go, I've given you my patient. I don't have a lot of. <laughs> I've given you my patient. This is in like a six hour recording day, and we got things. We're going we're doing on three and... episodes. We got the, it's all this stuff. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if the doctor calls in the middle of the episode, can I answer? I go, fucking no, you cannot because this is like no. They'll call you when they have the results. Yeah. So then he. <laughs> He goes one last time. He's like, "What do you think that is?" And I, I lose it. I lose it. Like really? I have bad anger. I go, "Shut the it fuck up!" It looked like something. It was nothing. It looked like a spider web. Yeah. Yeah, he's, that's what the lungs look like. Yeah. He's going, "This is a spider web." Just dead? <laughs> that's yeah. what the doctor told me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what I didn't tell them, which pissed him off too, is when I left, I asked the technician. I was like, "Does it look bad to you at all?" All for a like, test he didn't need. Or maybe quit smoking. Yes. But you know, oh, wait a second. <laughs> he just got to clean. Real, real rich of him to even give you any advice on this because maybe about a year ago he was on his. Two hands. years ago. Okay, but when remember when you were coughing up blood? Yeah. The amount and you told me that I'm sorry. And a week later, I was coughing up blood because I had a really bad cough. <laughs> really? And I was freaked out. Freaked out. Yeah, freaked. He me was out. freaked out. He was on his hands and knees, maybe three times a day. I was like, in the parking right. lot over there where the, the Jamba Juices and the yeah. Starbucks yeah. over there in that mall there. And I remember Rooting sitting in their business. <laughs> <laughs> and I, remember, I coughed up blood on a tissue. Yeah. And I sat down and I literally went. I was convinced. That's it. I mean, but that's I was every dying. movie we've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Every Little House on the Prairie where. Fucking <laughs> 
Right. The general getting? store owner. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, yeah. He was done by the half of the episode. I think the movie Contagion fucking Contagion. opens that way. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, it, yeah I, I thought I was going to die. I had just gotten a chest x-ray and just gotten, uh, went to the uh, ENT and had my a CAT scan on my throat. And then that happened. If I hadn't done in that order, because yeah. I had a really bad cough, I would have fucking freaked out. Uh, that, he did. Know, I didn't mean to cut. Yeah. You. I'm sorry. No, but I think that. Um, so the same thing where it was like he was constantly like calling me, saying, "What's wrong with me?" What's I'm like, I don't know what's mm -hmm. wrong with you, but he wouldn't make the appointment with his doctor. Sure. So then, because then that's the that's the real. And it's real. And, and it's so real. I get that. Yeah. I made yeah. the appointment. And fuck that. Fuck the reality, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather yeah. be. Let's just ruin everybody's day around. Here. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> made the appointment, did all the things. On our way there, that's when I finally snapped. Yeah. Because he continued. He's like, I don't he was still constantly talking about it. I'm like, look, we're doing everything Thing we're we supposed to, to do. be yes. doing. Like this is like now I have no answers for you. And that's where I go with him. And I like I lose. I have bad anger, and I lose it. <laughs> I, I call him names. Are like, you fat fucking idiot? What the fuck? Every fucking time. With I never you. heard that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's I need to work on that. Like, can I ask you something? Yeah, go ahead. Is this right here? Look like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but and I. I, but uh, to me, I go, you need to, he, uh, to me, I get frustrated because your problems are everybody's problems. No one's ever came in and been like, my doctor said this, my landlord said that, the accountant said this, my cousin <laughs> said that. Like, everybody yeah. handles their own That's business in-house. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. He's got to get everybody's opinion on it, and which is fine, but when it gets too crazy, I snap, and then I'm the asshole. Yeah, but you ever <laughs> think about the devastation when they do tell you're dying? What? <laughs> How many times did that happen to you? No, but I'm just thinking, you know, you, you watch people, you know, you watch, you know, people, you know, people get cancer. Yeah. Sure. And people get their doctor, doctor says, has to say, yeah. Couple have months. bad news. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's petrifying. It's petrifying. I don't know how. Do you not think that there's some like, yeah, I, there's, to me, that is some sort of relief of just like, okay, the, you can get out of it. Like it's, it's, I also think, I'm not afraid to die necessarily, if, I guess. <laughs> Fuck You're not. Fuck you, man. But, I mean, I'm not. I don't think I'm as afraid as <laughs> yeah, these two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they were like, okay, you have six months, I go, oh, obviously that would fucking suck and I'd be devastated. But it's like, I would go like, okay, like, I wasn't going to be around here forever type thing. I have like a. Well, we, I mean, I know it's inevitable. Sure. Everyone here is going to die. Mm -hmm. Right? I just sometimes think about like, and, and the worst time, here's when the worst time, when right when I'm about to go to bed. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll be brutal. I'll be sleepy and then I'll go, you're going to die one day. Five hours. Brutal. Brutal. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I get that too. Not you? Uh-uh. <laughs> what are you talking about fucking dead hands, Kippy? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. wow. I go, hey, that's pretty cool. It's an escape from all of the anxiety. But what are you escaping to? Like, that's a thing. It's like. I'm going to follow you in the hell. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> Kippy, <Okay>. come back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kippy, is it hot in here? Huh? Yeah. How sad it would be if you went to heaven, you went to hell. I'm looking to a break. I need a part. Yeah, well, you know, after the wheels fall off of this thing, I'm going to yeah. need a vacation. Oh, I see. Okay. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll go down to hell and annoy everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay, so you don't think, you're the only healthy guy here. No, oh, no, I'm nuts. What? No, I'm crazy. I've been to six. <laughs> I've been to 60 doctors in the last th three months. He hasn't... He, I think he, he meant mental. Mental. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. No, nah, I'm he's nuts. crazy. I'm crazy. I just, that doesn't... I think I've come to terms with that more than... Wow. I have in the past. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're older, so it's just sure. it, we're closer to it, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Man. I mean, what, you're not even 40. I'm going to be 40 next year. You are? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what is that? That's insane. Isn't that crazy? You met me when I was a 27? I know, I know, I know. That's insane. Damn. We've known each other for so long. A decade a long of time. Bobby. Oh. A decade of me. The, the pain and suffering. <laughs> the pain the and decade. suffering. The weirdness. All worth it, though. So many weird shit. Definitely taking a couple of years off your life. Oh, a hundred percent. How dare you? What the fuck? You, <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? I like how you guys were just friends and yeah, now you're yeah, enemies again. What the fuck do you mean by that? You don't think I got this guy down to 45? Oh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I had a full head of hair when I met him. <laughs> but here's the good news. He's 17. <laughs> the, the good news is this, is it's never going to be, you're not going to ever go back to those days of struggling. Yeah, I don't hope. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't no, think so. Yeah. I don't think so. That well, that keeps me up at night. But it, you won't. But you know how you said that, like you know, we have like our like our heads down or whatever. That is our that. I mean, that's not probably not as strong as in him, but in me, that is my constant, constant fear. 
Especially at 47. Now, it, you might not be on fire. Sure. Right? But be able to make a living. Yeah, I'm not you'll be always out in front make of a, a living yeah. for the rest of your life. Now, if he opens his comedy club in Germany, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I'd get you in there for yeah, a weekend. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, because you know, I've been around for so long that I'm like, there were so many times where I was, that I had that fear mm -hmm. that it's going to end, it's going to end, it's going to end. When gonna end. when I first met him, he was really in a bad place, but he was still making. Yeah, that money, I was at the know, lowest, the, and I was still making decent money. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, yeah, so don't I, don't fear that. I don't. I I kind of I kind of look at this. You know, they say like you know. I feel like fearing it keep it keeps it away though. That's whoa. Yeah, that's yeah. intense. Stay thinking, hungry. Thinking negatively. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah. 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 I think it was always, like always being like you have something to prove. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. But I don't think. I mean, having something to prove to myself, to my peers, that I you know that I. Yeah. Um, are, I'm good at this and, you know, talented. Can I have I, can that. Can I ask a personal question? Sure. Does your dad have the same hair? Uh, he was been, yeah, probably when he was my age, it was probably similar. He's relatively okay. bald now. He's bald, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you fear that or? No, I'm, you know, I'm going bald. I'm aware of it. No, I don't see it, but. Uh... What? <laughs> what? Man, what this that? fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you. I, mean, I don't, you do? I don't see nothing. Uh, we were talking about to getting the transplants, but like I, don't, I, I genuinely don't care. But they, but I know I can give you less. I can't say that right now. Oh, so many people. But I can go like this. Beep it out. No, don't. I, I mean, no. I'm gonna start talking. Okay. Beep, you beep this. I out. think everyone knows who you're right, gonna talk right. about. So I'll tell you the ones that have transplants. Okay. <laughs> Oprah Winfrey. No, people we know. Ari Shafir. <laughs> <laughs> No. The craziest haircut money in America. He's got to get his money back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, shout out to me. Okay. Good hurt, hurt. I would, I would, I would presume that. Yeah. He won't talk to you for. Wait, six that's months. common knowledge, though. Yeah, but he won't break. I don't know why I'm still. Doing I wish yeah. you weren't telling us. Yeah, now I'm not gonna, not gonna fight him. Great. <laughs> Next time I see him, it's yeah. on. A lot of people get it done, and then I there know. are guys like Bill Burr, like fuck it. Yeah, I, I don't care. I'm not. Uh, my uh, my brand is that I'm a fat idiot who drinks and smokes beers, or like, or, or drinks beers and <laughs> smokes cigs. I don't care. I like. It would be so un out of my character to care about my appearance to the point to get surgery. Yeah. And I, I like I said, I got a hot wife. She doesn't care. Yeah. Who am I trying to impress? I'm not going to be Ronnie Chang. Yeah. I'm who I am. I have a question a for you guys, fuck. though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Suppose you were your wife and your girlfriend, and suppose I, when we were dating, I started to lose the top of my hair. What's the vibe? Like, what are the feelings? Are you saying, hey, you should probably get hair transplants because I can't have a bald wife? No, I would do a, I would ask uh, you to please do a scenario. So Robert form. Rodriguez, huh? Is that <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little more about the, the beginning of that. Like, <laughs> no, but what do you think? Like, because I, I mean, I have friends, like genuinely, I have friends when they got off birth control or where they're having some, girls get hair loss too, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a yeah. thing, right? But we really kind of like. I would do a lie. What would you say? What would you like, say? what if, okay, I just lost the front right here, Bobby. Okay, just a circle that's missing. Right but here. But it's also like, I think you or my wife or most women would want to rectify that somehow, whether it be a wig. But or let's suppose something. I was like, you know, it's just, I don't care. What's the fryer tuck? Like, uh, yeah, fryer tuck's the way to go. I'm experimenting with a new look. Uh, <laughs> I, would, I would ship I would, it back I, to Germany. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I would what would go, you do? I would say, pick a look. <laughs> I agree with that. Pick a look. Yeah. Either way. I don't like this weird thing where you're doing like a fucking Ron Howard. Yeah. Right? So what I'm Smart. saying is, is that Keep it shave it all off yeah. like Sinead O'Connor. What if it's like this but long hair on the sides? I would kill for that cut. <laughs> yeah, that, that's fine. That's oh, killing it. Really? Okay. That's that's not a... No, it's bald on the top. Oh, oh I didn't see that. Oh, the top's bald. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. That's going to be me in two years. No, no, no. That will not do. <laughs> that yeah. will not do. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. That, you got to shave it all off. But and then oh, we could do oh, like okay, a, okay, you okay. look like you're from the future or whatever. Matrix, I mean, yeah. yeah. I see, I see. Matrix is it up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pick a look. Okay. But you're not doing, yeah, pick a style. I would be supportive of whatever. If she was like, I want to get a hair transplant. I'd be like, okay, girl. I would go, you got to do, you got to pick something. Yeah, yeah. Pick <laughs> and I'll support that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But fucking pick something. Yeah, here. pick something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if, but if she was adamant about it, I would just say she's sick to people. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> she's not sick. You just tell people. That. No, she just can't. Oh, I thought you meant she was crazy. No, yeah, no, oh, no, both maybe. Uh, yeah, wait, whatever. So you would tell yeah. people sh- uh, that Day I was four. going through chemo. Yeah. No, I think if you just say <laughs> sick, everybody can assume, and you get a little sympathy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you would get yeah. sympathy. Yeah, it was right, age fourteen. Rock, age fourteen. Is, <laughs> is, is, what? That Bobby's a good guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good I'm man. sticking by her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, right? Anyway, just don't do it. <laughs> I think pick a look is the yeah. Pick a look. Okay, pick, yeah, a look yeah. pick a look. Not the chemo excuse. I don't think. I don't know if I would do that. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, let's double down on it. What if you like? Let, what if your uh, wife picks up a bag on the side of the road? <laughs> okay. And it's like an IUD, IED, an IUD. What is it? IUD's intrauterine That's device. The device. Yeah, it's one of those. <laughs> or <Okay. laughs> IED explodes. Yeah, it, yeah, it explodes. IED. She loses her arms and legs. You still there? Of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of yeah. course. I think so. And even with the with the hair thing, <laughs> you get to a certain age, and you know, you, you know, I, I assume you're married. You, it's not about that stuff. You're you're Th- that there is something lacking from there and her that she's lost that as well. That's a primal need. You okay, know? okay. Huh. I, I would be open for conversation. Listen, I got no arms and legs. Go out and late. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What am I gonna do? Yeah. I, I'm trying to figure out how to play Xbox with my face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what I mean. Wait, hold on. So we have the no arms and legs? Yeah, who or has the no arms? I don't know. You turned it to us. Uh, <laughs> the guys. So I want. I, I'm saying I said if I had, because I said I would <laughs> yeah, want. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. you said no. <laughs> what? I said. I said girl, and then you turned it to you. I'm so then I'm like, oh, I guess the bit's changing. <laughs> no, it's because no, I'm saying I would want my wife if I couldn't fulfill my wife sexually. Which I can. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sometime. where's my camera? I can do that. <laughs> Fucking bring me in yeah, here and treat yeah, me like yeah, this. Yeah. Uh, I would want her. I would allow her. I would at least have a conversation of like, I want you to feel fulfilled. So I would expect the same conversation to happen. Right. Me. That's all I'm saying. Let's if the hope, shoe was on the other side. But I think what her question was, would the, you know, would you stay with them and take care of them and rehab them through all that and go through all that? Yes. I said yes, yes. And then maybe after a few years, there'd have to be some sort of conversation of, let me go get my wiener away. <laughs> 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 yeah. right? that's, that's not crazy. What are we talking about? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, you, yeah. like your, your wife's arms and legs got blown off and you're not going to have a conversation <laughs> about the physical aspect of your relationship? This is I just insane. don't want to see your, uh, your, your wiener moist. <laughs> Sure. You said wet, and wet. gave me a visual that I didn't want it in my mind. Hey, what theater you? of the mind. But just because she doesn't have arms and legs doesn't mean you can't uh, have relations with her. I don't know. We're not there you're right. yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and you're right. I'm just, I'm building uh, on the right. bit. I, I love it. I love what you're doing. What were you going to? What about you? She chose a look. No arms, no legs. That's a look? She's choosing that? <laughs> oh, she chooses that Wait, look? she grabbed the IED on purpose? <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. That's a whole different conversation. What about you? What do you mean? I mean, would you take care of her? Like, hold her in your lap? Would you, like, make love to her? Would you be, you know what I mean? Like, for the rest of your life, you're married to this person. It just, it would depend. Uh, no, wait, what is that? No arms and legs? Yeah, you said that. Yeah. No arms and legs. If she wasn't in a fire, then yeah. What do you mean? What does fire <laughs> change? Things? That's a weird comment. <laughs> just so, <say> yes. <laughs> wait, this fire took on her arms? <laughs> And I'm just, uh, you know, I mean, you know, the when people have been in a fire, mm-hmm. you know, what I mean, I think that's so where I, epidermis I, is more impo- skin is more important than limbs. That's really. if, she, okay, if her limbs, if her limbs are just gone, but the rest of the body looked like it was, then yeah, sure. So your line is burn victims. If she, I mean, if they look like Harvey Dent, yeah, you know what I mean, Two Face, yeah, with the eyeball sticking out, you know, what I mean? it'd be scary. <laughs> <laughs> What is this conversation? This is the craziest conversation. <laughs> I love my wife. That's all I want. I love her. <laughs> I'll love her. Let's stay with her forever. Of all right. All right, let's move on. Let's, let's, say, let's, yeah, move let's on. go. Move let's on. say yeah, she's yeah. not an arch criminal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys. I miss a good time. You know what I mean? <laughs> is that there? Anyone, anything you guys want to plug? Uh, we're all over the road. The State Trashy Tour. We're doing a bunch of shows. Uh, D.C., Philly, Pittsburgh, Toronto. We just had a third show in Toronto, a fourth show in Chicago. Wow. For those tickets. Wow. Second show in Philly at the Fillmore. Buffalo. Uh, Buff- yeah, all right there. Um, all and we're ending it in, uh, in Philly. We're doing two theater shows at the Fillmore. Uh, the first one sold out on the 21st. There's tickets available. I think we available. played the Fillmore. Yeah, it's a cool great. room. Yeah. It's a great room. I make, yeah, yeah. I'm really excited. We're it's excited. a homecoming for us. So That's amazing. It'll be really And cool. your family comes out to that and stuff? Yeah, yeah, some people come to see that. Will it be your mom and dad? Uh, my mom will. 
My uh, dad probably not. Okay. He doesn't what? have any arms or legs. No. Why, <laughs> why won't your dad go? Uh, <laughs> he died a year ago. I'm sorry, man. That's all right, buddy. Yeah. But your mom will go? Yeah. Okay, cool. She and she'll be proud? It. Huh? You think she'll be proud? Uh, she's, she's proud, proud now? Yeah, she, yeah, they know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. They're, she's, amazing. They're, they're proud. Amazing. Yeah, they were always very cool, very supportive. How about your parents? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll come? Uh, I don't talk. My mom will go. I don't talk to my dad. My stepdad passed away last year as I'm well. I'm sorry, but, man. Uh, my mom will go. My mom, brother, sister, a bunch of cousins. I have a huge, huge family, so they'll all go. We Like, um, when s- the passings of your fathers mm-hmm. happened, were you guys there for each other? Uh, my well, how are, what are you guys like? You know, oh, you know? there for each other. Yeah, yes, yes, of yeah, 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 for sure. For yeah. Sure. So then yeah. you would listen to his like lung damage for a week. Yeah, I'd I'd, I'd have a little more patience uh, with uh, him. I'll go, I'll, 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 I'll yeah, 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 and yeah, I would go. use that to my advantage. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so super sweet, man. I just, you know, I'm proud of you guys. Thank That's, you so thank much. You. I, I feel like so I'm gonna much. be friends with you guys forever. I, I love hope you, so. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, yeah, love That's you. a bond, right? Look, popular videos right there. Bobby Lee. Oh, hey, there he is. Yeah, there. Bert, and who else is the other one? Louis C.K. You're in good company. Oh, that's oh, that's and Joe and Joe List. Oh, he's <laughs> oh, and Joe. Oh, and Joe List is there. Yeah, I was on that one. Wait, I've never met Joe List. Oh, he's great, great guy. Yeah, he's I've a great guy. Heard, I've only heard great guy. things. Super oh, funny. The best. Yeah, 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 great, great comment. Will yeah. you put in a good word for me with him? Of course, of course. <laughs> he just did a short with um um Ryan. So oh, Ryan! Oh my God, he did a short with you, as well. Oh, uh, oh, Ryan Sujimoto, the director. Yeah, and, and Sujimoto directed him in a short, yeah, but not the same short I was in. No, no, no. Okay, no okay. clearly not, or else you'd be. <laughs> 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 well, sometimes I might be aloof and go, "Oh, that that That's guy, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, great actor." Yeah, yeah. Great John comedian. Ryan Sujimoto. Yeah, John Ryan Sujimoto, very talented. Oh, what a name. name. Yeah. So um, check that you guys out on the tour dates. Thank you. Um, Thanks, you guys, please come back here. Of course, we love, we it. love you guys. This is Thank so you cool. So much Did you have fun? Yeah. Oh, awesome. you guys made me laugh Thank so hard. Very much. Such a blast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what? And also, I want to end this way. Um, I was a little aggressive, trying to make fun of you guys, stuff like that. And I, I feel like I'm a bully sometimes, and I apologize. I didn't know uh, you, it at all. You don't have yeah. to. You can make fun of me too. I'm fine. I would never do that to a friend. You know, make fun of a friend? No, never. Say something despairing about me. Uh, uh-uh. uh. I love you. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> so you get us canceled. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give them a round of applause. Oh, thank, thank you, you guys. Thank we you love guys. You.